Perfect. Perfect. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I hope everybody enjoying their uh, Memorial Memorial Day weekend. Um, shoot for the unless there was a big day. My neighbor and I, we you know, I was gonna go to throw a nice big cookout today. Today is Sunday, the 26th of May, and um, we did a lot of grocery shopping and stuff, getting stuff for tomorrow. I spent more money than I really wanted to spend, really. I did, I did. I spent a lot more money for food and drinks, but oh well. Can cry over spilled milk, but let me get this right here with the point of this video. This video here is um, I make some catfish stew because they want me to make some catfish stew. Now I want to apologize that if I didn't did this video step by step, I didn't use my GoPro camera. I wish I did. I bitch was using my phone, so um, it's not the best video. But, you know, I just want to show some things of people, you know, how I did my catfish stew. So, put a comment in the comment section about it and let me know. So, this is the catfish. And then sitting in the pot. Why I'm doing that, why I'm doing that, I'm letting it fry a little bit because you want to put a little crush. So you cut your fish up, you cut your catfish up, you cut it up. First, first all you do, you get your bacon, a little oil, and let it, let it fry a little bit. Then you put your catfish and stuff in it. You want to let it fry for about three to five minutes because you want a little crush in it. So now we're going to start putting the sauce in. So... After I put the sauce in, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you. See, I already put the bacon in. See, you gonna need tomato paste. I like to mix with that. So it's sauce. You gonna need to, you gonna need that. You gonna need tomato paste. Got some more tomato sauce. Sliced tomatoes. See, diced diced tomatoes. Do what not? Tomato sauce, you know. Then I catch up. I like to put corn in. So that's what I like to like to use. Paprika, which I got. Um, pepper, crush. Red pepper. A bay leaf. Um, soul food. And guess what? I, I, I forget one ingredient, but I'm not going to use it because that crust... It, that crushed pe red pepper gonna make it hot. Gotta have hot sauce, but these people don't want it hot. So, so I'm gonna put the sauce in and I'll show you how to look after that. Now this right here, when you put the, the three different pasta sauce in. Now what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna put the sliced tomatoes in. So. Come back and put sliced tomatoes in. Now you see right there, right here, is the diced tomatoes. You can stir that. You can stir that. That 
stir it up. Okay. Now after that, we're gonna put two cans of tomato paste in. Yeah. It's tomato paste. Now, when y'all say why I put tomato paste in, when you make stew when it cook, it start loosening up. That paste gonna keep everything together to make it a stew. So, basically, stir that up real good. So when you cook this right here, it, everything, all this gonna be loosened up. But when you got that paste, that paste gonna keep it together. See that? Look real nice. Look real nice. Look real nice. All right. This gonna be next. T tomato itself. Once you get that, stir that too. That looking real good. Real good. Okay. Now. You can put any type of vegetable. I forgot to get okras. And I had one get some okras. I forgot to get okra, so I did scared to get some corn. Now, when you get the corn, you have to draw the water out of it. Don't put the corn with it mixed with the water in. Make sure you take the corn out, wrench the corn, wrench, wrench it out real good, and then you put the corn in. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So your corn. Stir it all that up. Stir it all that up. Now you got the corn in it. Now I'm using my phone. I should use my GoPro camera when I'm doing this, but oh well. It's still the same. Alright. Now you do have to get some ketchup. Put a half a ketchup in there. Here's some onion. God damn it, what a stupid fool I am that did this. Get onion. And stir the onion up. Stir it up real good. Stir it up real good. Stir it up real good. These bell peppers. You know, I'm about to cut these bell peppers up. And, uh, now, you get your bay leaf and some water. And you're going to let it sit there to a ball. Now, so I got my seasoning all up in here. Now I'm, I'm, uh, now I'm not going step by step like I did on my previous video because I don't have my um, GoPro camera. I should have used my GoPro camera, but using my phone. So I'm sorry I'm not going step by step. So I'm going to stir this up real good. I'm going to cut my bell pepper up. I'm gonna cut the bell pepper up, the onion in it, hot sauce. Okay, I went ahead, went and got some hot sauce. I then put some in. So you get, you know, you wanna let that. So you stir it up real good. Make sure you stir it all the way to the bottom. You know, I'm gonna stir it up real good. 
set up real good, counterclockwise, clockwise. And after that, put a pot on it. Now, when this heat up and turn to a stew, it'll overflow. So you're going to need another pot. Now, you see how this is? It's getting hot. You want to put the bay leaf. When I'm going to do you doing that, you'll put a little bit of that water on that bay leaf in there. Not much. Just a little bit. Probably like if I could measure it, three tablespoons. So I'm gonna let that cook. You know, um, like I said, I'm sorry they went that step by step. I should have my GoPro camera and see it right there and do a step by step on that. But you know, I just want to do a show a little bit what I'm doing here today. And, uh, yeah, peace. And what you see here in this picture here is the finished product. Um, I mean, it's good. The color is real nice. That's what you want it to be, that red color. Now, some people, <coughs> excuse me can do it let it be like brownish color because they lose other type of sauce but if you lose if you use real tomato sauce tomato tomato paste it gonna be red like this color right here and i had my neighbor try it out he loved it I had another guy try it out this lady tried it and they love it right here so this is the finished product this you know they want me to they had want me to make this for the cookout today and i did and um you know it's from doing this right here for putting all the ingredients and all that it could take about 45 minutes um 30 to 45 minutes and i let it cook in low heat low heat I have it sometime a couple you know a little bit above low heat really because you want it to cook slow cook about an hour hour and a half so you want to make sure the fish everything you put in is cooked properly now you can put not not only you can put catfish in there, you can put other type of fish. It's up to it's really up to you what type of fish you want to use. Some people get meat and put meat in it. You know, like hot dogs or sauces or something like that there. Some people do that. You know, so that's typical how I do the catfish. Um yeah, it, 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 it was good, and, and I hope other people enjoy the day. So put a comment in the comment section what you think about it. I know it looked nasty, but it's good. It is real good. Peace.